Hey guys, in this quick video, I want to show you how you can create your own developer blog in under 10 minutes. So I have released a new feature on the Dev Dojo, which is called Dev Blog, and this allows you to point your own custom domain to a website that you can then customize it. You can upload your own logo, you can choose the theme, and there's just a ton of other features. You can write in Markdown, you can choose a few custom themes, and uh, it's just super easy to get set up. So if you're ready, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own developer blog in under 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and just jump into it, and I'm gonna show you some of the features here. So I'm logged in as this user called DevSkulls, and here is my profile in front of me. And you can see that I do not have any posts, so I could always go up here to create and create a new post. But first, before I do that, I am going to create my dev blog. So I'm gonna go up here to my left menu and click on my blog. And then you can see that we have this new page that says, welcome to your developer blog. And it has the domain, so it's actually going to be a subdomain. So in my case, my username is devschools, so my subdomain is gonna be devschools.devdojo.com. So let's go ahead and create our developer blog. And as you can see here in front of us, we have the domain settings, and it says you're using a subdomain at devschools.devdojo.com. So I can go ahead and click on that, and then I can view my page right here in front of us. So you can see that we have the headline, a subheadline, and it says it looks like you don't have any posts yet. That's all right. Click here to start crafting your first post. And you can also switch from day and night mode, and every theme is going to have a day and night mode, and just very simple and clean themes. So let's go ahead and modify our theme a little bit. So I think here I want to upload a logo. So I will do that. I have my logo right here. I will click on save. And then I need to upload a logo that's going to show up on the night mode. So we need to have both variants of a light and dark logo. Okay, so I've went ahead and updated that, and you can also update the headline and the subheadline right here, and then you could also go here to change themes. And right now there are only two themes. They're just simple and clean themes, but I plan on having a lot more themes down the road. So then we can go here to our pages, and this is where we can actually create our pages, like about, contact, and you can add multiple pages. You can also say if you want to include this in the menu of your site. Then jumping over here to our settings, we can add a site title. I'm gonna say dev skulls, just another dev blog. Okay, so if I go back here to my blog and reload, you can now see that we have that updated title, we have our logo, and then I can go ahead and click on about, contact, and go back home. So we don't have any posts yet, so how about we go ahead and change that? I can click here to start creating my first post. Or if you wanted to, you could always just go to the top right and click on create and then click post. So I do have a sample post that I'm going to add right now. And you can see this is just in Markdown. So I'm gonna first copy the title and then I will paste the content. And then I can go up here to preview, or I can view the help about Markdown. So let's go to the settings before we publish, and I want to upload a cover photo. So I have my cover photo here, and I don't think I want table of contents on this article, so I will say no. I have the URL slug, and then I'll probably add a few tags. So I'll say Vue.js, view, and then I'll go ahead and click on save draft. But I actually want to publish this, so I'm going to click on this arrow and click Save as Published. Okay, so after I've published that, check it out, we can go here to our profile. And you can see that we have our post right here. So I can click here to view the post, and you can see that this is the post on the DevDojo website. But then we could go over here to our actual blog, and if I were to reload, you can now see that we have that new post. So now I can click on that post, and sure enough, we have a nicely formatted code blocks, and we have the text, and then we also have a code pin embed. And we also do have a really nice responsive site. So let's go like this, and you can see this is what it is going to look like on a mobile device. 
So you can scroll down, you have the code blocks and you have your text for your article. Okay, and you can also see that we have the URL right here. And I actually did do a pre-run before this video, so that's why you're seeing this uh, dash one because it already had uh, a slug for this URL, so it just added dash one up there. But we could always go to our post and we could modify that slug. So how about I go to my posts, and you can see that we have our post right here where we can view, edit, and delete, and I'm going to edit. I'm going to go down here to the slug, and I'm just going to change this to two-way data binding. And then click on publish. And now if I go back here to my main site and click on the article, you can now see that that URL has been updated. Okay, so that's great. We can easily create our own developer blog, but what about a custom domain? So let's go back over here to our domain, and you can see that we're using the subdomain. And then we can click here if we want to use a custom domain, we can learn more. So what you can do is you can actually just add a CNAME record to your subdomain and it will automatically resolve. If you do have a domain registered with any registrar, you can always point it to Cloudflare for free. So I actually registered this domain, I registered devskulls.com with Namecheap. So if I were to go over to my Namecheap account, I'll see that I have it right here. And what I can do is I can go to manage and I'm going to point this to Cloudflare. So what you could do is once you log into Cloudflare, you can click on add a site and you'll see this page right in front of you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to type in the name of my site and then click add site. And I'm just gonna choose the free plan. The free plan still gives you a whole bunch of cool features uh, like DDoS attack, DNS and caching. So this may take just a few seconds and it's going to search your DNS and then just automatically detect what you already have in your DNS and move that over. So let's go ahead and just say continue. And then it says that we need to point our DNS records to our new name servers. So I can go ahead and just copy that. And then each registrar may be a little bit different, but it's basically you're going to change your DNS for the domain. So I'm gonna say that I want a custom DNS and I'm gonna put in the name server here and then I need the name server too, which I will copy that and paste that right there. Okay, and after we've done that, it says that typically DNSs take about 24 to 48 hours to propagate, but I've noticed if you give it probably about anywhere from five to 15 minutes, you'll probably be fine. So let's jump back over and let's click on check name servers. And then right now for our SSL, I'm just gonna set that to flexible and then we'll go down here and say done. So that actually only took me about five minutes. I went ahead and just sped through the video and it says great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. So now we can go up here to our DNS and then you see I have a lot of DNS records here that just got pulled over. So I have like this CNAME record and I'm just going to delete. And it looks like I have a record. Just going to delete a lot of this stuff in here. And you can decide whether you want to delete the previous existing DNS entries. But I'm just going to delete that and then I'm going to add a new record. And I'm going to add a C name. And I want the C name to be the name of my website. So this is going to be devskulls.com. And the target is going to point to devskulls.devdojo.com and the TTL, just gonna set it to auto and click on save. Now we'll need to jump back over to devdojo and update our domain. So coming back over here to our domain, I'm just going to set my domain to devskulls.com. And if you tab away, this should automatically update. Now check this out, let's go to devskulls.com and what do you know, we have our domain right here in front of us. We can then go to about, contact, we can switch day mode and night mode, and we can view our article. So how cool is that under, I would say about five to 10 minutes, we've just pointed our domain to Cloudflare and then Cloudflare, we've pointed that to our dev blog on Dev Dojo.
So now you can start writing, you can share your knowledge of development and new things that you find out. You can post it on Dev Dojo and on your dev blog. And I feel like just having a developer blog in general gives you quite a bit more credibility and it also just lets people know what you're working on. So whether your objective is to land a new job, get some new clients, or just to share your knowledge, uh, that can all be accomplished with creating a developer blog. So head on over to devdojo.com devblog and start creating your developer blog.